is where I grew up. You'll learn. You'll learn all about proper shoes. You'll learn when it's done. Right. She got what? She got the right. Yeah. And then he went to her handrail to get over to the other side. Whoa. Come on. Just pull around. Hey, I don't get to see this out where I live. <laughs> it's 50 degrees out here. <laughs> Or at least 40 degrees, right? At least. Okay, then here, I'll take your picture with the dog. They made this little trail with little this bridge. Dipping. This wasn't here last time I was here. I found this cute little rainbow. My little hometown, they're building it up. But that's a good thing. It is cold. <laughs> but it's beautiful out here. Hey, come here. Look at all these little this is my here, huh? stomping grounds. I lived here my whole life. Yeah. I, mean, I used to like walk through these fields and break the rules. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having a great time, just walking my dog. It's a great day. It's my childhood home street, King Road. I used to walk up this street every day after school. So many memories. Merry Christmas, guys. So, today is Christmas Day, it is the last day of Vlogmas, and I am here to complete the last day of Vlogmas, and I want to show you guys how I'm spending my Christmas. I'm in Maryland right now, and we've already opened the presents. So, yes, there's the tree. I got a little fireplace going there on the TV. Yes. Me and my dad are spending the holiday together today and um, we're actually deep frying a turkey so I've never done that before so I'm gonna help him with that and I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that so um, we're making some mashed potatoes some almond onion casserole so um, yeah guys if you wanna see what how I'm spending my Christmas day then hang around so yes let me show you guys my childhood bedroom which is no longer a bedroom and it's now like a storage room I guess this is it yep that's it it used to be bright neon like Nickelodeon green in here I used to be obsessed with Catwoman even though nobody likes that movie I still do so yes there it is. All my stickers on my door. This is where I grew up. That used to be all cow fields over there. Cow or pasture, I mean. And as you can see, they are developing eventually they're gonna be developing into this field behind our house so yep my little hometown is growing up it's still pretty out here though so let me show you guys where we're gonna be deep frying the turkey it is so cold I'm not used to this anymore pickup truck, my first vehicle. This is my dad. If you don't want to be on cam, dad, I'll cut you out. But yeah. Oh my God, it's cold. <laughs> it's not cold. It's cool. So, there's the deep fryer. 
Have you ever done this before? Oh yes. I haven't. Oh yes. We're using some peanut oil. Yeah, peanut oil. And see there's a little timer to make it stupid proof. We've already prepped the turkey. Mm-hmm. Just got has to boil. Mmm, smells like McDonald's. <laughs> it's funny <laughs> that the turkey tastes like French fries. Does it? A little bit. That sounds good. Yeah. It's moist, it's crispy, that's the best part. And it takes half the time, a third of the time. What's this board right here? Keep the wind, feel the breeze. That's the breeze you're talking about, cold. Mm. Keep some breeze off of the... Uh... Yeah, this is my childhood home. I used to ride my four-wheeler all throughout those fields. I used to have a little ATV course back here and you can still kind of see it out there. Let me try to zoom in. That used to be bonfire over there with your name on it. That used to be a weeping willow. Yeah, it is. That's our bonfire pit. Tonight, tonight. We used to. Sorry, it's so shaky. So yeah, this is about three and a half, four acres of land. I love my home that I grew up in. But guys, I cannot take this cold air anymore. I'm just so used to Phoenix now. It's like. <laughs> Before it didn't even matter, but now I'm like, geez, get me out of here. I'm just kidding. I'm soaking up all of this energy while I still can. So, I didn't film the first two days I was here because there was really nothing to film and I wanted it to be special. So, I'm going to do my best to make sure that the last day of Vlogmas is special for you guys. So, I hope you guys really enjoy this video. So we're patting the turkey dry, making sure there's no water on it because everybody knows water and oil do not mix. And lots of people make that mistake when they're deep frying turkeys especially, is that they don't make sure that they get all the water out of it or that it's not frozen anymore and it just turns into a fiery mess. So we're gonna do it the right way. <laughs> I'm just patting him dry. Him or her, your pictures. Time. Alrighty. <laughs> and then we gotta sit out there with it, don't we? Well. Come on. Come on. Wait, not yet. Okay. Okay. Here goes nothing. Stand back. Stand back, stand back. Here it is. Woo! Is it supposed to be overfilled? It said 350. 325. It said never let it get above 325. I don't know, Dad. It's over. It's. 325 off. now. <laughs> the bird is in. <laughs> That's how you do it, brother. Deep fried turkey bird. Bruno, 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 stay back. Stay back. Stay back. These are cooking. 45 minutes, right? Bruno, stay back. He wants to taste it. He likes to play. He's with the boys. I don't want him to get hurt. He won't get hurt. Look, it didn't flame. He's a cooking. Get back, doggy. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Look Get turn around and get get that in the background. Look at it just smoking. 
Deep fry, baby, <laughs> deep fry. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Yes, it is. You're gonna love it. It's like French fries. Look at it go. This is how you do it in Hillbillyville. <laughs> hey, stop. <laughs> how we doing, Boondoggy? Okay, it dropped down to 300, but guess what? It's cooking. Keep the wind off of it. Keep my temp up. Drop down to three. Look at her go, huh? Can you imagine that thing flaming and burning your garage or your deck? I mean, It'd be look. so scary, you'd have to run away from it. You'd have no other option. Because you and can't put it out with fire. And it was even a little low, but when you drop the burden, it's like... Yeah. Because you can't put it out with water. Hell no. You gotta shut the gas off and run away. It is Christmas night, and today was a wonderful day. I got to spend the whole day with my dad, and we cooked a, an amazing Christmas meal. I'm still so full. And um, this is just everything I wanted my Christmas to be this year. So I'm feeling good, I'm feeling happy. I, I mean, during the holidays when I'm not on my normal routine, I feel like I'm slacking and I shouldn't feel that way. You know, I should be able to enjoy my time with my family. But I made the decision to do what I do and I'm okay with that. But I just want you guys to know that I'm so thankful for you. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys for your immense support and positive feedback. I really appreciate you guys and I just want you guys to know that. I hope you guys can hear me okay too because I have to keep my voice a little lower because there's not a whole lot of privacy here. It's like a full house. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hung out with an old friend today who I went to high school with and she is doing so well so I was happy to see that hopefully getting to hang out with a another old friend tonight but we'll see how that goes I'm here for about two more days so I'm going straight to Vegas after this I'm gonna be filming with that huge studio I've been looking forward to it things have been great it's very cold the heat's on here and I'm just happy to be home, so I'm trying to soak it all in while I can. This whole experience has been very therapeutic for me, and it's been very nice to step away from my real life and, and go back to my roots. A lot of thoughts have been going through my mind while I've been here. Um, I will be talking about that a little more when I get home or maybe when I get more privacy. Overall, I'm just really happy with where I am in my life and I don't think I give myself enough props sometimes. I think I'm really hard on myself and I don't think that's ever going to change but in the new year I'm definitely going to start patting myself on the back a little more and being more proud of myself because I do work very hard <laughs> and I'm realizing that just missing like one day of posting not even it's like all of this stress is flooding in and I'm trying to block it out a little bit though, so I'll still be posting something tonight. Anyways guys, I hope you can understand at least what I'm saying and relate to it maybe in, in some type of way. So I'm actually in my sister's childhood bedroom because this is the only bedroom with a mattress in it. And my, old, my other bedroom is being used. Yeah guys, I hope you've really enjoyed this Vlogmas series. Um, I know I didn't post every single day but I tried my hardest to and I really put a lot of effort into this vlogmas and I just really hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed following me along on my journeys and on that note I'm going to finish this video I'm gonna put it together and hopefully post it tonight I hope you guys have had a wonderful Christmas or happy holidays if you don't celebrate Christmas um, also, just being on YouTube and seeing all of the, the big YouTubers that I like, like Trisha Paytas, and it's crazy to see how they can still post and still have 
time with their families and manage to enjoy the holidays while still being active and very um just very active on on their social media because for me it's hard guys like being here like i feel totally out of my element i feel like i just want to be lazy and like it's hard to even get out of bed in the morning i'm like oh it's so comfy and cozy and baby it's cold outside you know <laughs> so um yeah my all of my childhood belongings have been minimized into a box i'm not trying to be like woe is me or sympathy me or anything like that but literally my entire life is in that box like this mask that i got when i saw Cirque du Soleil my wishbone dog that I could never like let go of. <laughs> oh, funny story with this guy. I learned how to pierce my ears by piercing his ears. So yeah, it's kind of sentimental. I love him. So yeah, there's just tons of stuff in here. Look, there's the box to my webcam that I still use for webcam shows and everything else. Crazy. Yeah, because I bought that when I was still living here in Maryland. Anyways, guys. I just want to say thank you guys for watching this video and supporting me and believing in me. I hope you guys have had a wonderful time with your family or whoever you are spending your holiday season with. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.